Yo, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Enhance your WhatsApp conversations in 2023 by integrating ChatGPT. This comprehensive tutorial will walk you through the process enabling you to enjoy more interactive and intelligent chats on WhatsApp. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So, in this specific video guys, I will need you to go first and open ChatGPT. So as an example here, here is ChatGPT in front of us. Now, as you can see in the first site, here there is the topics that you have searched for. In the left, here in the bottom, you will find your account information and the settings. And basically in the settings, there is nothing that actually will allow you to link your ChatGPT with anything else. So, how can we actually connect ChatGPT with WhatsApp? Well, of course, WhatsApp doesn't have integrations. ChatGPT doesn't have integrations. So, what's in the middle? How can we meet in the middle? Well, that is why I'm going to show you an app that can be in the middle. It is a third-party app that will help us connect these two different apps, which is called Zapier. Yep, Zapier is basically an automation app. This is the link in case you didn't know about it. And it is very easy guys to use. So first thing when you create your account in logged in, this is the dashboard that you will face. Here, go to the sidebar menu and click on apps. And you will notice that there is all these apps in front of you. Well, here basically you need to search for ChatGPT, as you can see right in front of you. And then click on connect. And here on this little window that will be open to you, you should put the API key. Well, uh, tell me now, uh, if I went to the settings, I can't really find any API keys. So what should we do? Are we going to upgrade the plan? Well, I don't have enough money to do so. Well, don't worry guys. ChatGPT will allow you to get API keys for free. It is not by asking <laughs> the bot itself to give us uh, uh, API key. So let's, just, let's try it out. Give us, give me, uh, an API key for your for linking chat GPT with WhatsApp, for example. So this is uh, not possible at the moment. So how can you actually get it? Basically, if you want to search for OpenAI, and you will succeed by going to log in, as you can see here, you will find the here two page or two different menus to choose from. Of course, we are going with API key since we need API key. Then go to the top right corner of your website, click on personal and then go to view API keys. In this section, you will find all of these different keys. Make sure to, if you didn't have none, create a new secret key. Name it, for example, WhatsApp integration and then create secret key. There you have it. So now all you need to do, copy it, go to that little window that Zapier gives you, paste it there, and add a, a name. It is optional, but let's have a name that can help us detect what it is for. Then click on yes, continue to chat GPT, and then you will be able to connect it. For me, I have already uh, integration with the, my account, so it will give me an error, uh, but it doesn't really um, annoys me so we can just for example we can actually connect it if we remove the organization id but still uh, it is not really important to connect uh, to that way so for me as you can see here i have an account already i have three accounts actually actually so for example this is the one that i have just created click here click on test connection and it has been tested successfully so it is working for now now the next thing is we need to do the same things that we've done with ChatGPT with WhatsApp. So basically, as you can see here, here it goes, WhatsApp notifications, click on connect. Since it will not connect us to WhatsApp, it will connect us to WhatsApp notifications. So basically guys here, enter your WhatsApp number here in the E.164 or format which is as an example plus the plus and code tree code followed by phone number without any spaces or dashes after that click on send pin and you will be sent a pin inside of your whatsapp chat copy it paste it and just like that you will be connecting to your whatsapp notifications as well now we have just connected chat gpt with zapier 
and what's up with Zapier? We didn't complete the full connection of these apps together. So what should we do? Simply head up to create a Zap, and here what you should do is click on uh, this text box, or either if you didn't find it, click on create Zap right through here. As you can see, so here basically this is a text box where you have to write a prompt. <laughs> a prompt is basically text that can describe or will describe what you want two different apps to do together using Zapier. As an example, when I get a notification in WhatsApp, send it to chat GPT and copy his response as and send it as a respond a reply on WhatsApp and just like that generate it and wait for it until it give us the best uh, zap possible so now the AI will do the job so here it is so as you can see new icon in chat from Talents AI Conversation will be done in ChatGPT and then it will send messages and WhatsApp notifications. Well, there is three steps. As you can see, this is a, still a robot. So, for example, these things, uh, it should be removed. So, just like that, so what you can do is basically click here and simply head up here and try to change it or remove it. So, it's very easy to actually do that. Well, this is not what we want to do now, but basically this is how it totally works. So now we have these steps that we need to go through. Well, what you need to do now is to simply connect each app with each account you have connected it into Zapier. So for example, ChatGPT, I will choose one of the accounts that I have them working. For example, this one, and then it should be good to go. Then continue and you will have to get va like valid data. So here click continue and then it should be a done doing a test. To set ChatGPT, we need to create a new conversation. This is what will it do. So like this step, let's test it out. And this is the problem. User field user message is required since we need the message to be coming from the first app. So each step has to be done um, like correctly for example if whatsapp was before after chat gpt then it doesn't make sense since we aren't going to get notification then how can we create a conversation inside of just inside of chat gpt that's why guys there is a mistake that the ai will make through the tasks you have to fix them manually if you couldn't like uh and like that you can simply just delete any task that you find annoying not necessary and keep the things that you find necessary and uh, just like keep them as they are and then make sure to connect all the accounts to them and it will be working without any problem and after that make sure to click on on here and fix the publish and you have successfully connected whatsapp to chat gpt so thank you guys a lot for watching that was the end of our video and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial